still haven't been able to apologize to her. We can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something. But when am I going to get the chance? Ah. Uh... Morning, Elisa. Uh, morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh. Well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Wh why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. No, it's... I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now, but every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. Though, you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. I still appreciate the thought. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, anyway... We've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The... result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, you know... And I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever! Forget it ever happened. Are. We. Clear. It, yes. Perfectly. Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. Huh? Oh. Oh, good morning. Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. Huh. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Whoa, whoa! That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> Well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then?
Why does the sun have to be so bright? Maybe I should go buy myself a coffee. I guess she must work at the radio station. She looked dead on her feet. Radio Trista has some late night broadcasts, so she was probably up all night. Oh? I wouldn't have taken you for the radio listening type. Maybe I should tune in sometime too. I believe we've spent more than enough time here. As soon as we finished preparing, we should head to the station.
Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This transcontinental train is bound for Crossbell. The next stop is Keldic. Keldic. Passengers traveling to Bereahard. Please change trains at this stop. Wow, so this is Keldic. It seems like a really relaxing little town. Though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldic's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. But you're all still miners, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. Anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's, uh, right over there. Okay, let's go. I hadn't expected to see the Purple Lightning herself in such a quaint little town. Hmm. And the chicks with her seem like an interesting lot, too. No time for that now. I have more pressing matters to attend to.
hits the spot quite like a cold beer. She looks like she's having the time of her life. How many pints has she downed already? It's not even new. Oh, you kids are still here? I'll just be hanging back and enjoying myself. So go on ahead and get started. Don't mind me. We have questions for you, though. What's with these field study tasks? I'm glad they're not as difficult as I was expecting, but they're just so... Well, it makes sense you'd have some doubts. You only need to do the ones it says are required, though. Feel free to just ignore the rest if you want. I don't care. Up to you how much or how little you want to do. Hmm? S stop being so irresponsible and... Wait. These kinds of decisions are as much a part of our field study as the tasks themselves. Oh, what? W what do you mean? <laughs> you have two days. Trista isn't far from here, so you'll be returning to the Academy tomorrow evening. Until then, you can spend your time here, however the four of you see fit. Every decision rests on your shoulders. I won't be forcing you to do a thing.
was delicious. Those were some seriously fresh vegetables, too. Yeah, nothing beats food made from local ingredients. I quite enjoyed the rye bread myself. I suppose this whole field study thing isn't so bad when you take the menu into account. I wonder what the others in Group B are doing right now. Somehow I doubt they're sitting around a table and talking like we are. That would certainly be a shock if they were. I can't help but question what exactly Class 7's purpose is, though. Instructor Sarah says it's about Arcus, but I don't think that's the only reason we've been brought together. I'm certain it's not. If that were all, today's field study tasks would serve little purpose. It seems as though she's trying to make us experience... I don't know. Things. Like all kinds of things, big and small. What I can't wrap my head around, though, is why. Yeah. Instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. What do we have to offer one another, when our reasons for enrolling in Thor's in the first place are undoubtedly very different? Our... reasons? I hadn't considered that. My reason for enrolling was quite simple. I aim to come ever closer to my goal. Or, rather, to the person whom I regard as such. Who's that? <laughs> this is neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. Best to save that topic for another day. What about you, Elisa? Why did you enroll at the Academy? Hmm... There's no one single reason, but I think I just wanted to assert my independence. I mean, my situation back at home isn't exactly ideal, and this seemed like a good way to get out and do more, I guess. I see. Hmm, it sounds like I'm probably in the minority then. See, I wasn't intending on coming here at all originally. I wanted to do something completely different. You did? Oh yeah, you said you were really hoping you'd get into a music academy, right? Oh? <laughs> well, I wasn't that serious about it or anything. What about you, Reen? You're the last holdout, and since you're the one who brought it up, it's only fair you answer the question too. Me? Hmm. I wanted to find myself, I guess. Find yourself? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. That makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. That's the best way I can think of to put it, though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going on a journey of self-discovery? It's actually a pretty cool answer. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a romanticist. You sure don't come across as one. <sighs> I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> but we're not actually going to sleep yet, are we? Not until we write our reports for the day. I want to shut off my brain so badly right now. But it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. <laughs> she seems to have forgotten all about the room situation. And I'm not about to remind her. Reen? Hmm? What is it? I was unsure whether to ask or not. But I've decided that this question bears answering. Why have you chosen to hold back? What? Your sword style and technique. It is the Eight Leaves One Blade School, is it not? <sighs> Popularized by the sword hermit, Yun Kafai, it combines the best elements of other Eastern sword styles. Those who master any of its forms are referred to as a divine blade, and are said to understand the true nature of all things. You certainly know an awful lot about it. I didn't think it was particularly renowned here in the Empire. We of the Arsaid School consider the studying of other swordsmanship styles to be an essential part of our training. In addition, my father once told me, if you follow the path of the sword, 
It is only a matter of time before you encounter a follower of the Eight Leaves. Your father said that? <laughs> it's an honor to be acknowledged by the Radiant Blade Master himself. <laughs> I'm nothing special, though. I'm just a dropout who's never even been able to progress past beginner level. I did train under Master Ka Fai for a while, but I started to feel like I couldn't go any further with my abilities, and he cut my training short. W what? So I'm really not holding back. Honest. I actually kind of feel like I'm dirtying the good name of the Eight Leaf School, in fact. But this is my limit. I'm sorry I can't quite live up to your expectations. <sighs> Laura? You have no reason to apologize to me. This is a matter you must come to terms with on your own. Though I'll admit to some disappointment, I was hoping you'd prove to be a good sparring partner. I... I'm going to practice outside for a bit. Please go and finish your report with Elisa and Elliot. There's a lot he doesn't want to talk about, huh? I can see in his eyes sometimes that he's bottling something up and trying really hard to keep anyone else from noticing. You've noticed it too? <laughs> you sure have taken quite an interest in him. I, I was just trying to work out the best time to apologize, that's all. It's not like I've been consciously paying attention to him or anything, honestly. <laughs> Reen's not the only one bottling up his feelings though, is he? You've been doing the same thing. I... Yeah, I guess I have. <laughs>